all right all right what's going on party people this your man grill just leaving a seller side um closing that i had um 21 pages simple 21 pages um the crazy part is they didn't get me the document so at least i didn't know to get the notification until around nine o'clock and my appointment was 10 o'clock and i've been booked for this for a little bit um I think I have I can't remember I've been booked for this it, it wasn't something that just came up so and this is why I was stressed to y'all as new notaries talking about two years or younger um it might be three or five years I don't know but however if you still consider yourself as a person who's sort of inexperienced in this business if you're going to get experience you're going to have to hop out there and you got to get to a point of taking last minute signings um too many notaries are afraid to do last minute signings um and it's the same mantra of well i just don't want to get surprised i want to make sure i understand what's in the documents and what's going on and after a while it don't take long for you to figure out what's going on with the documents that's why i did the video where do you sign where, where do i sign where do they sign um it's in my notary basic playlist i did another video going through the actual loan documents step by step you know i did a video called um i broke the notary pay system and about halfway through that video i actually go over the loan document you know a loan document and break stuff down so i'm showing you everything you really need to know in order to go out here and do this business and sign and get these things notarized y'all got to understand and accept okay that this industry is last minute things pop up at the very last minute again yesterday um commercial loan popped up at 10 something for an 11 o'clock meeting so i'm at 10 o'clock crooked there at 10 o'clock or a little bit after 10 or something like that order came through for 11 o'clock they had some technical issues the stuff didn't come till late i still made it happen um there's going that is a part of this business and when you can learn how to master the last minute whatever and when i say last minute i'm talking about the documents coming to you at the last minute the order just popping up at the last minute and see you can have a last minute order and the documents are already there you literally can have a last minute order it just came in at what time is this now it's 10:35. So the order comes in at 10.30, we'll just make it even, 10, 10.30, at 10.30 the order comes in for, let's just say 12 o'clock. Some notary would consider that last minute. I, yeah, it could be considered last minute because you got to call them and get all this stuff together and especially if you got other stuff. So you can say, yeah, that's sort of last minute. But if the documents are already there, that's a plus. Versus you got the order and you have a you have a closing at four o'clock today that you was booked at least a day at least 24 hours ahead of time you got 24 hours notice that this signing and you said yes i can do it but you still don't have the documents at 10 30 you don't have them at 2 30 and about three o'clock you get the notification here's the documents and you got a 25 minute drive and that's what i had i had a 25 minute drive to get to the person <laughs> that can be even just as stressful so even if you take an order way ahead of time you could still end up being in a last minute situation where they don't get you the documents until 10 or 15 minutes before you're supposed to be there an hour hour and a half before you're supposed to be there now fortunate for me it was only 21 pages that made it easy hit the print button print it twice boom and i'm and i was out didn't even look at the documents didn't review anything didn't you know i already knew i didn't have witnesses and stuff um and i was just like let me just go you know i let me just go because and i don't even know i think the property was in a different state i think um although they put the property addresses here in virginia but i actually think it was somewhere else i don't know um i would have to go back and look and i mean literally got the documents print threw them in some folders sat down with the people verified id bam i'm in and out you know and we was good to go 
that's that that happens a lot so if you're going to be fixated on trying to do this perfectly for as I'm going to create this environment for the people I'm going to create this atmosphere I want to make it seem like we're at a title office you're going you're gonna to struggle in this business and the reason why I say that is because when I got there the first thing that hit me when I walked through that door was the strong wonderful smell of bacon they was fixing breakfast just 10 o'clock in the morning they was fixing breakfast and they was feeding their, their daughter so we're sitting here at the table while the little one i don't even know how old the child was but she old enough to be able to walk and talk and do whatever so she 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 young enough that she ain't in school right now today and she's sitting here eating breakfast at the table with us while we're doing the signing so that ain't the kind of atmosphere you have at the title office so this is not about trying to create this atmosphere um you remember that song from kirk carr set the atmosphere that was a that was a banging song <laughs> um but this isn't about trying to set some kind of in office atmosphere that you probably never experienced yourself as a notary this is about getting those documents signed correctly and notarized correctly yes you want things set a certain way yes i do too i like to be at a table this that and the other but sometimes i'm on a, at a couch sometimes i'm at a counter but nonetheless whether i'm at a counter whether i'm at a, ta at a, at a um, kitchen counter um at a wood shop table in the garage um at the kitchen table whatever the case may be I make sure that I do what I need to do correctly. And that's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. I know the, the bulk of the trainers and, they, and you can't dispute, I mean, I don't, it's hard to dispute this, but the bulk of the trainers, it's all about the aesthetics. It's about how cute you're looking and how you do this and you flare and all of this. And you know, I got this and I, you know, okay, yeah. And I asked those people one simple question. Have you already reviewed the documents? Yeah, we have. Here you go, sign. End of story. What is there for me to review with them? What is there for me to like, let me make sure you understand. Let me make sure I show you. When they tell me they've already reviewed the documents, they're good, the numbers are straight, I give them their copy up front so that they can actually um, take a quick look at it if they want to. And they're like, we've already reviewed it. Everything's good. You know, then they might say, well, let me just go. Yep, everything's good. What else is there for me to say? What else is there for me to try to impress them with for as my vast notorial knowledge of the documents? There is none. So I'm just strongly encouraging you that if you really want to make it in this business, you got to be able to do last minute signings. And the sad part was that there were a lot of people out here trainers that y'all were paying telling y'all don't do last minute signings and that's counterproductive because some of those same trainers got training courses where they are helping people to become signing company owners how do you tell the notaries that your signing company owner trainee you got a training program and you're telling them don't take last minute order you're telling the, the signing company person go start a signing company but then you're telling the notaries that they could use don't take last minute orders but then 45 percent of that signing company owner's revenue is coming from last minute orders make it make sense people that does and then the signing company owner is sitting here struggling trying to figure out why can't they get notaries to go out here and do this work the reason why is because they've been told by the same person you done trained with male female young old black or white don't take last minute signings and y'all remember those been in this long enough there was a shift and all of a sudden notary notary trainers and mentors started saying well you probably do need to take those last minute ones and you ask yourself well why couldn't i take in last minute ones before because they've trained y'all to do this whole production this whole layout of how you're supposed to present the documents say the documents and all of that and when you look at the history of the people who trained you they were people who probably 
used to be escrow people, title people, might even lenders, or and or and or they could have been people who primarily did direct closings. And if they did direct closings primarily, then they're not thinking and they don't have the experience or they really um, adhore the experience of being a mobile notary going out into people's homes and they don't like that. And again, you have some people, this is just who I am. I like to do this in this excellent way. Okay, fine, you do excellent. I'ma just go out here and I guess I'ma be, you know, ghetto or trailer park or backyard barrio or whatever you wanna call it in the back alleys of LA and the uh, homeless district, whatever. I'm getting the job done. So this is why I keep stressing to y'all, you gotta make sure that the people who are sharing information with you, that it fits your situation. Anything that I've heard from trainers to, that I've heard how to, how to conduct something would not, would not work. It would not have worked today. There's no way, it would not have worked today. Me coming in there, l l um, laboring the point and trying to, for 21 pages, it wouldn't have worked. They would have been like, look, man, you, you look, can you speed this up? We trying to feed our daughter, this and that. I can't control when they feed their kids. I didn't care. I was like, shoot, I wanted some of the bacon to be honest with you. <laughs> I was hoping the little girl was like, here you go. <laughs> I would threw down on I mean, that was some bacon. And she had a nice, um, slightly crispy to the way. Oh, boy, I would have threw down on that bacon. I'm serious. Don't tell the wife. I know she'd be looking, but no, nah, I wasn't going to eat the bacon, baby. I wasn't going to eat the bacon. But I'm just saying, we don't know what situations we're coming into. But what we do know is that we're supposed to do things a certain way with the notarizations and if you got that together i'm telling you you'll be fine but again even after hearing my experience even after me sharing this with you and nobody else is out there telling you the industry out here in the um notary streets the way things are you're some of y'all still going to be like well you know what griff i hear what you're saying but shh, i'm I, look i gotta do it this way you know i'm you know that's just the kind of person that i am and you're gonna be sitting there wondering why you can't get any orders because the 45% or 50% of what you see is last minute. And all of the orders that you get, that you could sit here and have two weeks to look at and get together, guess what? They're coming during the time that you're working. So all the orders that you do have an opportunity to do is after your working hours from your W-2, but they last minute. So you won't take those and then you can't take the orders that off of 10, 12, 2 o'clock because you're working. So the question then becomes, when are you gonna make the decision for your business to get out there and do this? I'm just saying, you know, I mean, at some point in time, you're gonna have to just grow up, put on your, your grown people, you know, clothes and just step out there and do this thing. So when you learn how to master the last minute signings, when you have a workflow, like I talked about in my last video, a, a, a workflow that can handle documents coming late. And see, by me doing last minute signings, a lot of times it helps me to be in the right headspace for this, for what happened today, getting the documents about an hour before I'm supposed to meet with them. And it was a 25 minute drive to them. And yes, I was late. I was in the right headspace where it didn't frustrate me and I didn't panic. I just went head on and did it. I knew what I had to do and I got it done. And I went in there and knocked it out and we got done in probably two, maybe 15 minutes. Cause I got there about five after. Uh, so about 15 minutes, we got done in 15 minutes. And the only reason why I probably took that long because they was tending to the little one and all of that. And then, oh, and the gentleman, he had to go find his wallet because he misplaced it. And that took about three or four minutes. So I probably could have been out of there in 10 minutes. But nonetheless, we got it done. And that's what's important. And everybody was happy. I'm going to do my scan back, ship the documents. That's what this is all about. And I made my money. So I'm happy with it. I'm good with it. My, my concern is when you going to step up, when you going to stop playing around and stop being, you know, perfect Peter and perfect Patty, you know, and just go out here and do this thing and trust yourself. But I'm going to close with this. 
you can't really trust yourself and what you're supposed to do out here if you really wasn't properly trained. If all you was trained was how to create an escrow environment on the road and not actually how to be a great notary, a decent notary, you're going to struggle with this. You really are. So tell me what you think in the comment section. Um, master the, the last minute. And I'm telling you, you're going to be finding this business hands down um, across the board. So if you're working a full-time job, just know if you really want to make some money, you're going to have to do those last minute signings and, and be ready to rock and roll. If not, then you're just going to sit there and keep spending your money with these folk complaining about how you can't get anything and, you, and you're and you going to feel like you wasted your time and money. And I don't want that for you. All right. Talk to y'all later. Peace.